what is going on my lions welcome Tam here excited today for the second portion of our uh, five episode um, run so yesterday I talked to you guys about reviews um, or sorry not yesterday uh, I meant uh, on Monday we talked about reviews uh, so today we're gonna start talking we're gonna talk about price and um, your revenue and your sales so um, Actually, let's leave price for a next video because I have a lot of points for that one. So let's talk about your revenue, okay? So when we are doing our product research, right, and we are using Jungle Scout to do this, uh, what we try to do is find out what our competitors are making with their products, okay? Find out the exact product, sorry, let's, Make sure I'm straight in front of the camera. Find out exactly how much your competitors are doing, how much they are making money um, with uh, the, uh, the product that they are selling, right? Because that's your first indicator of what the revenue could look like for you. And to have this competitive analysis, we use Jungle Scout's Chrome extension. I have the light version. I've shown you guys. There is a 20% discount in the description. So make sure you guys take advantage of that because um, I have actually managed to score that with them and they've been kind enough to give me that discount to provide to you guys. So I really appreciate it. Uh, if any of the Jungle Scout guys are watching, thank you so much. So yeah, so use Jungle Scout's Chrome extension and go to Amazon. Same thing. We're gonna upload all the listings of the product that we're trying to sell, and then we're gonna run Chrome extension against that first page. And Chrome extension detects all the pages, but the first page is what you'll see. You wanna focus on revenues that are 5,000 and over. Okay, and there's a reason for that, guys, okay? First of all, reviews we talked about, you wanna make sure it's lower review, less than 100, and revenue is 5,000 and higher, okay? There are a specific mathematical reasons why we do that, okay? I don't want you guys to get into anything lower than that because I do not want you guys to fail. I've learned this the hard way, guys. I remember when I started, I found a product that was like doing $3,000 a month and I'm like, wow, that's $3,000. If I make uh, half of that as my profit, which is normally what you wanna have, uh, that's 1500 with one product that is amazing right and I'm doing all that only to realize that that's not the case and I explain why so five thousand dollars you're making with your first product minimum now let's break down the numbers what does that mean in order to do so we have to understand what our costs are so let's start there let's start with our cost and start from point A which is your manufacturing cost okay so you also got to take it into account that you're going to purchase softwares like Jungle Scout, right? These are all costs that are associated. So um, sort of your overhead, right? So you got to think about these things. You're going to invest, let's say, $100 with Jungle Scout US. And you are going to manufacture, let's say, 200 products, right? And you gonna what you're going to do is you are going to manufacture it for, let's say, 5 $7.00. Um, Amazon FBA fees are going to be another $5 on average. Your shipping will be half of that. So if your unit is selling about $22 to $25, you're looking at a 50% margin. Okay, so after that cost, I'm looking at 50% margin. So that's still $2,500 profit in my pocket from one product, right? Now, you got to take into account the other cost that could be associated with your product that is not in front of your face right away. So what do I mean by that? PPC campaigns. You guys are missing that advertising is key in becoming a successful Amazon seller and to actually build sales velocity. You're going to invest, I would say on average, $500 on PPC campaigns for each product per month. So all of a sudden now, your $2,500 profit is actually $2,000, right? 
and I'm not accounting for anything like if you needed to take professional pictures or um, if there is another software that you're using and most likely you are. So I would like to take another 200 just for those miscellaneous costs uh, that could come. Like let's say if shipping is late, right? You build a little bit of storage somewhere or there are, there are demerit charges, which is basically wait times at the port. Stuff like that that could really cost you and not to mention shipping. Shipping, you may get a quote uh, that says that, okay, you, uh, your shipping is going to cost this much, right? But by the time you ship it, you, if you guys know anything about freight is that shipping costs change constantly, at least every month. GRIs, which is general rate increase, kicks in every month and you are going to have a higher cost depending on what's happening in the world. There's a lot of factors that um, uh, kind of bind into that one. So you always have to account for miscellaneous costs. So at the end of the day, with a $5,000 product, you're left with fifteen dollars to $1,800 of true profit. So now that sounds great, right? You have profit with one product you're making. If you have two, three products, you're making a really good salary, right? For yourself a month, great. But what becomes important is when you're dealing with really low price uh, or low margin products. That's where your fault is and that's what I want you guys to avoid. Where the problem will become is if you're dealing with low margin products. So if you're making not 50%, 30%, right? All of a sudden your price or your profit drops, right? So you're now looking at $1,200 uh, or $1,000, right? For that matter. So that's why guys, we wanna make sure we're making at least 5,000 a month on a product because if you're making $3,000 a month on a product and 50% is your uh, on average, which is your cost, and 50% your revenue, you're making $1,500. And if you take your PPC campaigns, because that price is not gonna change, right? So three, $400 out of that, plus your, uh, you're taking out your software fees and this and that, all of a sudden you're left with like seven to $800 of profit on a product. And it's very demotivating when you're not making the money that you thought you will with Amazon. But you guys, guys, it actually starts with product research. That's why we do product research, to make sure we don't get into troubles like that. And that's why I always, always discourage my, uh, my students from uh, trying to get into products that are low margin or even low price. Like if it's like things, you, you don't wanna sell anything that is lower than $20 American because those kind of products, the manufacturing costs are high and it's gonna eat through all your profit margin. Remember guys, we're doing this to make money, right? If you're not making proper money, what's the point of doing this? Because in the beginning, it is gonna be a little bit of investment before it kind of becomes a lights out situation where you don't have to invest a lot of time, just some monitor time, maybe like half an hour a day just to make sure everything is running smooth and all that. So that is important guys, keep that in mind. Another example that comes to mind is my second product when I was trying to break into the market and I was trying to sell different things and that product, I did not do proper research. Um, I remember I had, um, I joined an Amazon FBA Facebook group. I'm not going to say which one. It's not right to, um, to badmouth anybody. So I joined that group and um, I remember like some of the admins said like, okay, you got to get into this. We've been trying this product. It's really going great and uh, it's doing amazing dollars in US. Only thing is I live in Canada and I'm selling in Canada. Did not kick in. I'm like, okay, we're in the, um, we're in North America, so it should be okay. It should be the same thing. But I didn't take into account the population of Canada, which is one tenth of the United States. Um, I didn't take into account that people's wants and needs and desires, everything is different over here. The culture is different. The product sells differently in different regions of the world. So none of that stuff. And I did not do proper product research to see what sellers in Canada are doing, right? And guess what happened? I invested a lot of PPC campaign money on that one. And guys, I made $200 at the end of the day, $200. I liquidated it. I never went back to that product ever again. Uh, and yeah, like you gotta, you gotta stay away from products like that because, and take people's advice, but do your own research on their advice. Make sure that what they're telling you is actually true and uh, you can actually trust it. 
So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate your viewership, subscribe, hit the bell button, let me know how you like this video, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys on Friday and we are going to talk about price, which is another segment, very important segment and I'm going to show you guys how to price your product. Thanks again guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day, bye.